Hey guys, I will speak to you about algorithm today. There will be uh, just few points which lead to you uh, realizing what it mean algorithm, what it mean, uh, how do you decide what is going to be watched, um, what is going to be successful online what is gonna take over the society, what is gonna be everywhere. You know, um, I'm gonna simplify it like this. You, <laughs> you my friend, you are algorithm. Uh, because it is you who ultimately look at certain things. And when you think that nobody see you, you click on something what you would not watch in front of your mama, <laughs> or your children, on your friends, you know. Uh, long story short, you know, there is many things which are successful and they are not valuable. Then there is things which uh, might have great value, but uh, they are not seen because of uh, perceptions, because of uh, what people look at. You know, back in the day, um, it was like, Somebody told me like people and especially women always first look at your shoes. I don't know if this is true. I never notice any of that. You know, uh, me and social clues, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but well, so yeah, I, I love you ladies. It's okay, you know, it's not comparison between who uh, is more watching outdoor things, who is watching shape of your fingers, of your nose, color of your eyes, or even uh, how well you are shaved, uh, how well you speak, if you, uh, how proper plan, if you, uh, anyway, I mean, there is great and small people in the world, uh, but there is value in, uh, in between, you know, so the same as uh, many times people don't give you a chance just because you have a certain accent, yeah? Sometimes people don't give you a chance because uh, you are from a certain place. Or they don't give you a chance because uh, you don't watch football. Who knows, yeah? Um, there might be different things which, which determine if somebody uh, listens to you for, for a second. Or if they just, you know, say like, well, this guy has nothing to say. <laughs> and now, yes, I'm talking a lot without getting to the point, you might think the same, but that's okay. I want to say, like, it is you who ultimately decide what gonna be played online. If you listen to worship, then it will be played. Uh, if you listen to political arguments, then that's what will be played. If you will ask questions and then somebody will answer them online and uh, they answer it well, they, uh, those things will be followed. If, uh, you know, people believe different philosophies. Uh, some of them are like, uh, we are, I, I should just fight for me and my family. Then other people say like, uh, well, we are one. Yeah, we all work together. I guess uh, now it is somewhere between the two, you know, like uh, you need to look for your family first, but you are surrounded uh, with greater group of people uh, and ultimately the world around you. Each of us created by uh, our actions. You know, so as you walk on the street and you just throw something on the floor, that's also algorithm. It stays, uh, it, it creates that little bit of, you know, what is around us. If you walk around and you smile in general and you greet people politely even though uh, they are not the one who you naturally gravitate to, you know, but uh, if you uh, spread around yourself happiness, that's also algorithm. Uh, and uh, back to algorithm on YouTube, you know, it changes constantly, but ultimately, uh, it looks like there is a lot of space to interpret it one way or the other. Uh, sometimes you might feel like it is uh, 
clearly just designed to be against you. <laughs> Especially when, when uh, somebody from VidIQ mentioned like YouTube know everything about your video. It know everything. It watch it throughout and it know everything even you put no description in there. But how come then there is how, pro uh, how come there is problem to find people who actually seek for that? It would be only if you have no value. But if there is any ounce of value in what you're saying, then the video should be able to be delivered uh, to people who are likely to, to be seeking that, you know. Uh, but one way or another, algorithm seeks somebody who will watch. Um, but then it uh, determines value based on its own values. In essence, it wants to make you addicted, which uh, I cannot agree with, you know. I cannot agree with uh, how it is good for whole society to be glued to YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram or uh, TikTok, yeah? I don't see how valuable it is if people spend more than a few hours in a day, uh, especially if that is few hours of constructive uh, consumption, you know? For people who, who need that consumption to, to develop what they work on, but normally it would be great if, uh, if you can use YouTube and uh, all these other social media as addition to your life, where you play soundtracks for, uh, for your uh, daily routine, you know, for your life out there. Uh, uh, me, for example, I, I am driver, you know, I deliver the food, deliveries uh, from, from supermarket, you know, so uh, as I drive, I, I listen to YouTube all the time, so <laughs> I give watch time to many people. <laughs> I mean, uh, I give more watch time to, to other people than what I get for myself at the moment, yeah? It might change when, when more of you will watch uh, my music, you know, or even me talking. <laughs> but uh, um, me praying for you, me uh, speaking the Word of God, Bible, uh, prophesying from the Word of God uh, into your life, into my life, uh, speaking the Word of God like what is not yet for it to come. Uh, yeah, if you listen to that, uh, it will become valuable for YouTube, you know, because for them it's not necessarily valuable to create uh, better people. Uh, it might be uh, by determine, determined by the business model. YouTube is still not connected with whole world in a way so it would be supported if, uh, if nobody is there paying for, for adverts, you know? So don't get mad at YouTube wanting to eat. <laughs> don't get mad on some people getting rich because you all watch that things, you know? You all watch Mr. Beast. <laughs> Maybe he deserves that money, but uh, then uh, if that is the case, you know, so, so don't complain <laughs> because somebody have to give that effort to make his uh, videos valuable for YouTube. Then uh, if YouTube, uh, you see, we don't want to pay eight pound a month for there will be no need for adverts. But if you pay eight pound a month for YouTube for their great services, because they are like Wikipedia, they give you like every answer you want to know. Yeah, there is a video for uh, YouTube is like Wikipedia on video. Yeah, it's great. YouTube is one of the greatest platforms I came across because uh, it is like database, it is a uh, search engine, it stored the videos for, for years, you know, it's not like some other, uh, I mean, try to find video on Facebook based on topic. No, you cannot. Even your own videos which you shared uh, some years ago, you might have problem to find, uh, <laughs> you know, so. Um, YouTube is great. It's like Wikipedia. They deserve every ounce of money they get for their service. But if you are not willing to uh, to, to pay them for, for service, like you are not willing to pay to Wikipedia, I know you are not paying for the Wikipedia because I paid. <laughs> and they told me that I was one of 
two percent of people who uh, who they even send the emails you know <laughs> i was one of two person who gave them something so you guys you are just freeloaders you know you you need to realize like if you want to get value you must pay something for it and it's not just about money you see now you don't pay money you pay your time you watch those videos so if you gonna watch uh, even some foolishness you know and i'm not saying that anything on youtube uh, is that you know <laughs> but yeah, if you decide to watch some crap, <laughs> some foolishness, and uh, you spend time on it, that's okay. They will deem it as valuable because that what will eventually um, pay them to the adverts. Even though though adverts, you hate them, <laughs> and you will not buy anything from them. And uh, by the way, some of the adverts are so good. Some of them adverts are so good that they are better than videos which we make. They don't need to be put on videos. They, they could be standalone videos which could be in database of YouTube. And uh, yeah, they, they could be getting paid for, <laughs> for watch time. But instead, they, these guys pay to YouTube. They pay to YouTube <laughs> uh, for being featured. You know, so that's, that's funny, you know. Uh, some adverts are valuable for you because you are seeking for them. Maybe they should be listed as video, but it don't matter. Um, watch time for YouTube is important because some adverts need to be placed on there. And uh, also, yeah, I guess th there might be more things, but it's, as long as it is valuable for YouTube uh, to stream and to save so many videos, some of them might be utterly worthless uh, from, from some perspective, but some of them are waiting for their time to be used. As long as uh, YouTube is doing this, uh, you also have a platform where you can speak freely. And uh, eventually, if somebody sees it as valuable, they can share it. Um, so today we have time, we, we cannot tell the YouTube or some other platform or some algorithm uh, is deciding against what is right. It is uh, after you guys, it's up to us what we will support with our actual physical money from our card, what we will uh, support by our watch time, what we will support by, by our different type of energy which we can put in by uh, our physical time when, when we spend somewhere, you know, we can support things. Um, so ultimately, you are in here in this algorithm, you are creating the world. If the world is not good, you also are the one of those who contribute to it somehow. Uh, there is uh, many people who contribute uh, negativity. Um, there need to be only smaller part of those who will do something good uh, to make it better, you know. Um, you only need a little bit of seasoning for, for a lot of meat, but uh, without the seasoning, uh, without the salt and light as we are called to be by God, you know. We are called to be salt and light. Uh, you only need a little bit of light in a lot of darkness for you to see. You only need a little bit of salt in a lot of water for it to have different flavor, yeah? Uh, so also in the world, if you think that people are doing a lot of bad things, don't add to it by speaking negatively about it, by even mentioning too much of it. You can say what is wrong, but then proceed to do better. Proceed to do something what create algorithm uh, of uh, greatness, what create algorithm of better tomorrow. Yeah, so I know I have no structure in these videos. I don't use the script. I'm speaking from my heart, things which I meditate on. And I promise I will try the script, yeah? I want to learn how to get to the point quickly, how to uh, speak in a way so, so you don't have to watch for a long time to, to get uh, the valuable information which you seek for. But yes, um, yeah, let's create together better time, better algorithm uh, of uh, YouTube, better algorithm of uh, your world. 
Guys, I love you. God bless you. I see you soon. Bye.